not dead and uh, say hi to Snowy and Lecky. I swear they are relevant to the sketchbook tour, but this is definitely going to have to be in two parts again because my editing software doesn't work properly. And that's why I don't edit my videos, so now you know. So this was a redraw of something I drew in 2017 and it was based off a dream. And this wasn't the first thing I drew in this sketchbook because I had a cold when I started it. And uh, yeah, that happened. Uh, doodles. More doodles. And ah, a colouring sheet. Yeah, I had to just fill in my ill cold time with doodles because <laughs> I couldn't really do anything else uh, while watching Doctor Who. Uh, this is Foss from Kaseki no Kuni or Land of the Lustrous. I binged that show uh, and I, I love it. Uh, so uh, this was like a character that I was struggling to redesign and she was... I was also trying to redesign her in my previous sketchbook so yeah that happened. More doodles. I hate these pages. This was a five marker challenge and I hate it because the colours are bad and the drawing is bad and it's all bad. Uh, whoops, Snowy and Lucky, I will get them out of the way. Uh, three marker challenge and I was trying out new, um, new markers there. Cute girl, creepy fish, <laughs> and Sammy the guide dog who I met one day. Uh, this is where I spilt tea <laughs> and luckily both affected pictures are an underwater thing so it, it kind of works. <laughs> uh, Doctor Who doodles or Doctor Who doodles or whatever because I had recently rewatched Doctor Who and I was kind of obsessed with it and I wanted to draw the character. It started off with me wanting to draw River Song and it just kind of went off in a crazy direction. <laughs> yeah. Uh, me trying to practice three point perspective and it messes with my head. I just don't get it. Ah! Uh, perspective is just bad enough on its own, honestly. I don't like these pictures either. Um, my voice went weird. Okay. This is uh, Noss and Austin, or Nostin as their ship name goes. They are like the perfect couple out of my OCs, besides Connie and Haru. <laughs> this was inspired by Creepshow Art, and uh, I don't know who he is, but he's cool. And there's also Cyber Diva and Fugase, Vocaloids, because, yeah. So this was inspired by Ghost's uh, video for their version of Creative, and it's drawn in crayon. <laughs> and this is a Hello Charlotte fan art inspired by this one scene that I just, I really like. And uh, Frey is my favourite character. I um, might have said that in other sketchbook tours, I forget. Uh, some silly Doctor Who comics, one with Korazashi Sakai's mysterious package in it, and one with puns. Exfoliate and Salvador Dalek. Salvador Dalek is awesome. Uh, stuff inspired by a lot of dreams. A three-legged rock, <laughs> but with four legs, because that's how it went. Uh, fan art of When I Fell by Ghost, except it's in colour this time instead of black and white because, I don't know, changed things up a bit. I was redesigning a character there, and that's her final design. I was redesigning another character there, and her final design shows up a bit later. Um, yeah, some pencil stuff, and uh, me trying to draw kind of like Ghost. It was inspired by Serial Contraption of Malice. And this is that character I was struggling to redesign, finally, with a new design that I actually like. So, yeah. Doodles, and this is that other character that I was trying to redesign. Uh, redesigned now. And uh, this is a redraw of something I drew in 2016. Something from a game I played. And this is fan art of my favourite ghost song in Iolite. And this is a city. A cool looking city. They got me drawing on post-it notes, Bennett, the space fish. And then we got a funny little ghost-related scenario, and this camera won't focus, but I'm pretty sure this is visible. You could always turn the volume down and watch this in slow motion. Uh, this was inspired by Creepshow Art, and this was something I drew in 2017. It was like a scribble challenge. Upside down challenge. So yeah, this is how it looked like but when I was drawing it. But this way around it just looks really weird. And more doodles. 
So yeah, I do the slow motion thing when I watch a lot of sketchbook tours so I can really look at the pictures. Um, and okay, I love these pages. <laughs> and we've got two of my OTPs here. So we've got Catradora and Thasmin. Um, and we've got two of my OCs. And a not so great picture of White Diamond, but you know, who cares? This page got me out of an art block, so I don't care. Um, so yeah, this character, uh, she's part of my OC's world. She's not like a main character, and I don't really use her that much, but she's like a goddess of like life and death, and she looks after ghosts and stuff. She's like the goddess of the afterlife, I guess. I don't know. Um, so yeah, this was supposed to be like a guide to my doodles. Uh, or something, so it went from like scribble doodles, regular doodle, uh, premium doodle, and extra premium doodle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, more doodles. <laughs> and uh, something that I'm really, really happy with. I love this picture so much. I am so happy with it. Did I mention I'm happy with it? <laughs> yeah. And uh, I don't know, things. <laughs> um. Uh, flat face dogs and cats because why not I use references for all of these because they're like studies because I always forget like uh, um, when I draw cats and dogs I always forget about the flat faced ones <laughs> okay I hate these pages so I won't linger on them but I will linger on this girl because she's the only thing out of these two pages that I actually like and I might do a full picture of her one day because I she's awesome um, so yeah parties are for losers by Ferry, uh, my fav one of my favourite series currently. Um, and I think these three might actually be my favourite characters but in the series. Um, yeah. And uh, <coughs> OC Polaroid pictures inspired by Magenta Mayhem. The Scribble Challenge. My mum drew the scribble and I drew the picture. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> An art blob challenge. This particular blob turned into an OC, Veronica, and she's she's now she's now like a proper OC. There she is again. I actually really like this page, even though it's really scribbly. It looks very sketchbook, I like it. Uh, I don't really like this page, honestly. These are just some like doodle kind of characters. Trying to do an art journal kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, I was listening to House of Fun when I drew this. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I love that song. And there's Snowy and Lecky, so it's like a um like an in joke that I had with my cousin like absolutely years ago I don't know <laughs> yeah they're supposed to be best friends a snowman and a Dalek I don't know there's a comic that I made introducing octopus and Brenda thinks he's weird but she's a talking loaf of bread so you know she can't really say much and this is where I've decided to end the thing but I will go on to this page, so this parties are for losers again. I was having an off day when I drew this. I'm, I'm surprised I managed to draw that. Girl hugging a fish, because I absolutely have no idea. And the birth of an in-joke I have with my friends, the trash lizard. The trash lizard continues throughout the whole book, so I guess look forward to that in part two. Um, so yeah, um, so that's the end of part one. Um, sorry this was kind of rushed, but... Uh, yeah. So um so yeah, stay tuned for part 2, I guess.